Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to use the QuickBooks link to export to QuickBooks Online. First thing we're going to do is we need to open up our browser, and I'm going to search for QuickBooks Online. And we are assuming that you've already created an account and are using a QuickBooks Online Plus account. So I'm going to type in QuickBooks Online as a simple search. And I'll click on the first option here that says QuickBooks Online Official Site. Now I'm going to click on the Sign In button and we'll go to QuickBooks Online. And I'll put in my credentials. And it's going to sign me in. All right, so I am on my QuickBooks Online account here. We have to make sure that there are a few settings that are set before we can do our first sync from QuickBooks Link. I'm going to go to the top right corner and I'm going to click on this cog icon, which is our settings icon. And then we're going to go to account and settings. Now that we're here, we're going to click on Advanced. And under Chart of Accounts, we're going to turn on Enable Account Numbers. So I just clicked on Enable Account Numbers. I'm going to select this radio button and make sure it's green. And then we're going to click Save. Next, we want to turn on Track Classes. So I'll click on this Track Classes option. And we can turn on track classes as well as track locations. And then we'll click save. And that's pretty much all you need to do on the QuickBooks Online website uh, to get QuickBooks Link ready to sync. Now what I'm going to do is I'll open up our Liberty React program. And then we're going to click on the QuickBooks Link at the top right corner. Next, we have to set our QuickBooks Link to sync over to QuickBooks Online. So I'll click on File, and then Settings. And we start out on the General tab, and for QuickBooks Edition, we want to flip our switch here from Desktop to Online. You'll notice that there's a few more options that open up to the, to the left here. So we're going to click on Online. So now that we're on the Online tab, you'll see something that says Not Connected. We want to click on the Connect button. Our browser is going to open up to a link site. And once this is loaded up, we're going to put in our credentials again for our QuickBooks Online account. I select Remember Me for easy access. And then we'll click on Sign In. Now we're going to get a text message, or we, we'll, now we'll be given the option to either have a text or an email with a code that's going to verify who we are. So I'm selecting text to code. I'll hit continue. And I have my code here, so I'm going to type it in. So we'll be given the option to link the two together. So you can click on connect. And then it'll say, thank you, you can close this window now. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. So now that we have this set, uh, I'll go to my advanced tab. And you're going to notice that we have some options here that we can change. So by default, consignment payable, consignment non-payable, item fee, and web surcharge are accounts that the QuickBooks link is going to automatically create for you on your QuickBooks Online company file. Uh, these accounts cannot be changed in QuickBooks Online. They can only be changed here as far as what they are called. Ultimately, you change them here, and that's what, how they'll go over into QuickBooks Online. If you delete the accounts off of QuickBooks Online, the next time you sync from Liberty, the software is just going to recreate those accounts. The next option we have is separate consigners as vendors. 
Uh, we recommend that you have this option flipped off. And the only reason why is because it's purely cosmetic. Uh, you don't need your vendor center being filled with consigners when you can just look up the obligation in Liberty under the obligation report or accounts payable by account report. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK now. And now we're going to look through our QuickBooks company file and just make sure that we don't have any red accounts. So I'm going to scroll down. Everything looks good. If there's an account in red here, it usually means the GL account is not typed in or the GL account type is not selected. So you would just simply click on the red account that is missing this information and you can match the GL account with the transaction type in most cases. Same thing goes with like checking account or fee, fee type. You just double click on it and just match the GL account with the type that you're looking for. The other option here is you can drop down the GL account type, select the GL account type from the list, and then that's how the account will be created. Now it's important to note that we recommend that you contact your CPA or an accountant to look over your GL account mapping so that way they can make sure that everything is going where they expect the information to go. By default, if you do not have an account or a CPA, the QuickBooks link is going to go ahead and create the accounts that are the defaults. I'll hit cancel on this. Another thing to note is that the GL account type, again, is only for when the account is being created by Liberty. If you change the GL account type in QuickBooks or QuickBooks Online, that account type will be the default at that point. It won't, Liberty will not attempt to change that. It'll use the GL account type on the QuickBooks Online interface. So now that everything is good to go, I'm going to click my export button at the top right. The first time you do a sync, a calendar will pop up and allow you to select the date that you'd like to sync from. So important things to note is if you select from the beginning of when your store opened, uh, there's not very much to worry about there. It's just going to pull in everything from when your store opened and then you'll have a all your starting balances be correct. If you decide to go to say January 1st of whatever year you're in, it's going to be operating under the assumption that you have all your starting account balances or your starting GL account balances already inputted. So it's just going to continue from that point onwards uh, based on what date you select here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on this. It's going to give you one final prompt to make sure that you're selecting the right date. So I'm going to click yes on this. And now it's going to sync the information over. So right now it's checking to see if the accounts are already in your company file. And if it's not in your company file, it's going to create the accounts for you. And now the sync has been completed successfully. So I'm going to click OK. So from here, if I go into my QuickBooks Online account, I'll close out of this settings area and we're going to go to our chart of accounts once it reloads the page. So we'll go to accounting and then chart of accounts. And I'll see I'll see our chart of accounts here. These are all the accounts that came in from Liberty and I can tell they came in from Liberty um, because this account was empty to begin with. So the next time you want to do a sync, I'm going to close out of QuickBooks link here. You would just open up Liberty go to the QuickBooks link here and then once it's verified all your accounts are okay we hit the export button and it's going to export to QuickBooks online again now because there's nothing really in the account or I haven't had any changes here uh, it's just gonna say it completed successfully there wasn't really anything to sync over this was a video on how to use the QuickBooks link to export to QuickBooks online